Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a how to set up your Fiverr for UGC. Fiverr is a great source of income for UGC. Don't let people fool you. I get a decent amount of work from Fiverr to supplement my income, but I have to tell you, there is a slow start to building a Fiverr profile. So you do have to put in the work and you do have to take a few low paying jobs to get those reviews and get yourself going. But once you do, it's a snowball effect. Plus, once you've got good reviews, you can raise your prices. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's take a look at my Fiverr profile. Basically what you see here is I have a clear somewhat professional photo of myself for my profile picture. Nothing duck face, nothing too crazy. It's not even the clearest, it's not even the most professional, but it works. If you can't afford to get headshots of yourself, then that is fine, you don't have to. I couldn't and I'm still making money on Fiverr. Now I'm not sure what order they're gonna ask you to do this in because I cannot create a new profile without linking it to either my Apple, my Google, or my Facebook, or stuff like that. So that makes it a little hard for me to fake making a new profile for the sake of this video. But here are the main points. You're gonna want to make sure you get a clear short about me. You're gonna wanna make sure you have the proper skills tagged in your profile. You have a clear profile picture. You have your languages available on your profile. And you have a clear name, not some kind of username that is hard to find or hard to pronounce or hard to remember. So let's take a look at mine here. I help brands create ads and organic content for social media that actually converts. I have experience in niches like apps, software, beauty, pets, shoes, and more. Let's work together. Short and sweet. You could literally put that into ChatGBT, ask for a different version, and plug that into your Fiverr profile. Skills, I have voiceover artist, scripting expert, video ads creator, videographer, social media marketer, digital marketer, photographer, video editor. I wanted to hit all the possible skills and make sure that if someone is looking up by skill on Fiverr that they can still find me. Now the other thing that's available is the portfolio. Now I'm not sure if this is a new feature or if it's a feature once you get to a certain level, but I highly recommend if you have the portfolio available that you put a couple pieces of your best work here. If you don't have any work yet, leave it blank, it's okay. People will take a chance on you in the beginning with your low prices. You can also set unavailable times. So you can put this into your Fiverr profile and it will tell people that they can message you between a certain time and a certain time, which is very professional. I think that this is good, especially if you need boundaries and you have other things going on in your life. Personally, I think that it's not helpful when you're trying to build your Fiverr profile. Um, I don't recommend you put unavailable times. And I highly recommend you check your phone at all times. So if you're waking up in the middle of the night to pee, check your phone. You want to respond to messages ASAP so that your message response time stays short. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. So let's look at a gig. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you set up your profile is make a gig. So the first thing that they ask you on your gig is for a title. I have, I will create a UGC TikTok style ad for your Instagram TikTok or Facebook. There is a note here that says, looks good, however, shorter titles sell better, which I do believe is true. However, for SEO purposes, I really wanted to hit the words UGC, TikTok, ad, Instagram, Facebook. So yes, TikTok is in there twice, but I'm not changing it because it works for me. The category is video and animation. And then there is now a new category called UGC videos. And then I did UGC ads for my gigs because I find that those are what I want to focus on. But you can absolutely choose organic UGC or live streaming if that's what you're more comfortable with. Live streaming can be an option for you if you're in the US and you have access to TikTok shop. You can find maybe brands that need TikTok shop, TikTok shop creators for TikTok shop. Gig metadata. Here we're going to put in what we are as a creator, female, male, non-binary, couple, etc. The platforms that uh, you are publishing the content to. So you're not publishing the content, the brand is publishing the content, but I selected TikTok here because I want it to be very clear that these are TikTok style ads. In the genre, I selected gaming and animals for this one, but the truth is I created three different gigs and each gig selects different niches. So I have 
gaming and animals on this one, and then the next one would be beauty, personal care, and tech, arts and crafts, and home and garden, fashion and sports and outdoors, etc. Native language and age range are self-explanatory, and then video styles. I have unboxing, product demo, tutorials, how-to. However, you can do more. I find that this doesn't stop people from asking me for before and afters or uh, street interviews or product hauls or reaction videos. I don't think that they're necessarily looking at this part in your gig. Positive keywords, the keywords that work for me, are UGC digital marketing, video content, and social media. Now we go into pricing. My prices are probably mid-range, I would say. I'm not completely a beginner, so I did up my prices a little bit, but I also didn't raise them very high, so I'm not at the top. I do plan on raising my prices again when I have enough reviews. So what I recommend is that you set up packages. You've got basic, standard, and premium. And the way that I have this set up is basic is short UGC video content, so 15 to 25 seconds. Standard is 30 to 45 seconds. And long UGC video content is 45 to 60 seconds. I do have a four day delivery on mine. Now, what my coach recommended to me was seven days delivery because you want to give yourself time in case stuff happens. But I am trying to entice people to select my gigs. I don't have that many reviews. I don't have that many things in my portfolio. So I need there to be some kind of selling point to my portfolio. So maybe a quick turnaround time is that. The turnaround time of four days delivery does not include shipping. We'll get into that later. Running time, I did them according to the package, so 15, 30, and 60. I include voiceover recording in all my packages. I do not include raw footage that is sold separately. Graphic elements, I do not include. Additional hooks, I sell that separately. Subtitles and captions, I do not include. Some people don't want them, but I do ask if they want them. And then I include three months usage rights for all my packages, anything more, and I will up the price. Revisions, I include two free revisions in all my packages because to me, it's more important that the customer is happy with what they've ordered and that they leave you a positive review instead of charging for revisions and possibly making them angry or thinking that you're not a great creator and not leaving you with a review or worse, leaving you with a bad review. For price, I have $70 for the short form, $85 for the mid range and $95 for the longer form which is just 60 seconds. However, as a beginner, I would recommend starting much lower. I would recommend doing 45, 55, 65. I know it feels like it's not a lot of money for a video, but trust me, you just have to push through the beginning where you're just accepting the lower paying opportunities so that you can build your portfolio, build your reviews, and then you can up your prices. Under add extra services, I do have additional usage rights as an option, a basic standard and premium. I've got 35, 45 and $50 extra fast delivery. I'll deliver in two days only for an extra $15 for any package. Script writing is extra for me, so they might provide a script, but if they want me to write the script, it's an extra $25 and additional hooks are $10 for each additional hook. I find that no one actually uses this when ordering a job. What they do is they message me and then I create a custom order for them. And I do not offer subscriptions yet. For the description and frequently asked questions, I recommend that you go look at other UGC creators descriptions. But the first thing that I have on my description is please message me before purchasing. I'm offering custom packages for you. And then I have an introduction. Hi, I'm 28 year old UGC creator, Amazon influencer based in Montreal, Canada. And I've bolded some of the words that I think are important to catch someone's eye if they're skimming. Content features, video styles. Here's where I've included more than just three styles. So if you remember, we selected product demo, testimonial, unboxing, I believe. So here I include more of them in the description possible add-ons. This is going to be for those custom offers. A what to expect section where I tell them, look, message me first. We will discuss once it's delivered. This is the turnaround. This is the process. And then mine still says holiday content. So I should fix that. 
requirements. You do have to have at least one question that you ask your buyer. And I recommend that you ask, will you need on-screen text? Simple. Will you need on-screen text? Because this can change the way you film. It can change the frame that you want. It can change a lot of things. So knowing this in advance, that you need a little area that is clear and not chaotic because you're going to overlay text on top of it, on top of it is super important. Next, we have the advanced settings. I haven't touched anything here, so it's just like this. Gallery. Here is where I have included an introduction video. This video is just a quick video where I say, Hey, my name's Sabrina. If you need engaging videos for your brand, look no further. I am well-versed, I have experience, and I would love to work with you. Really, it's like a 20 second video, and I have B-roll playing in the background of other videos I've created in the past. Images, I went into Canva and I created three PDF-like slides where I just give um, like an introduction page Sabrina Pross social media content, and then um, a list of services and niches with a couple UGC photos. And then the last slide, what I can do for you. This is more for people who are not sure what UGC is for or not sure what this includes with lots of example photos. This part is not necessary, but I do find it looks more professional and it helps with those inbounds. And that is it. I know it's a lot of information, but if I could just help one person walk through their Fiverr setup, then I'm glad. I hope this was helpful for at least somebody. And I really recommend that you take a look at Fiverr. Set up your Fiverr so you can have a steady stream of inbounds and potential products that you can throw in here and there to build your income. If you have any questions, please let me know. I can film a second video. I can answer the comments. I can literally help you guide you through this. I am here for you and please let me know if you need any extra help. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!